What's up DC Nation? Welcome back to another video. In this video I'll be covering Batman 89 number 1. Written by Sam Hamm. Arts by Joe Quinonez. Now this is a return to the Tim Burton Batman universe. You know the universe where we get the movies Batman and Batman Returns. In those movies, Batman fought off against Jack Nicholson's Joker, Danny DeVito's The Penguin, and Michelle Pfeiffer's Catwoman. Batman Returns came out in 1992. Fast forward 23 years to 2015. In 2015, there was supposed to be a Batman A9 comic series that would include Billy D. Williams' Two-Face, The Return of Catwoman. The introduction of Marlon Wayne's Robin, a Tim Burton version of Batgirl, Poison Ivy, and even Harley Quinn. Obviously, this comic didn't get fully made, but now it seems like DC is finally releasing the story in this new Batman 89 comic series. And the reason I think they are doing this now is to get DC fans hyped about the Tim Burton universe again because Michael Keaton's Batman will be returning in the upcoming Flash film. It's all about marketing, but hey, I'm still happy to release this comic anyway because it is great. And I am really excited to see Michael Keaton's Batman in the upcoming Flash film. Like, that is going to be so awesome. Now, getting into this issue, we begin in Gotham City. It's October 31st. Halloween. Billy D. Williams, Harvey Dent, sits at the table with his partner, Barbara Gordon. The restaurant they are in is super fancy. It's literally at the top of the highest building in Gotham, a total of 59 stories up. Now, Harvey starts telling Barbara he's an ambitious man, and today is a special day. Harvey states that Barbara and him are one hell of a team. After some smooth talk, Harvey starts to get to the points. He's going to propose to Barbara, but then she freaks out at something, someone, moving outside the window. We know as the reader that it's Batman. He's watching over the city. Barbara, we're 59 stories up. There's no way someone is outside the window, Harvey says. We then switch to the Gotham News. A reporter goes around checking out Gotham's annual Halloween celebration. However, this year, every citizen is either dressed as the bats or the clown. But worse, it seems all these people are trying to act like their costume. So the citizens dressed like the bats are trying to protect the city. Sounds good, right? Now, switch to the citizens dressed like the Joker. They are trying to cause chaos by blowing up cars and looting buildings. They are going after the police. At this moment, we switch back to Harvey and Barbara. Harvey finally proposes, and Barbara is shocked. She doesn't know what to say. Take it home. Try it on. Think it over. Maybe this will help you decide. Harvey says as he takes out a two-headed coin. Barbara laughs at the fact that Harvey gave her a two-headed coin. She doesn't need something to decide. She already knows her answer. It's yes. That's when you hear a boom! Both Barbara and Harvey hear the noise. They know citizens dressed like the Joker are causing chaos. Well, that's the sound of this magical evening being cut short. Harvey says as we switch to the top of a building. Batman looks at Gotham. The streets filled with clowns looting businesses. I think I just figured out the plan. Gordon, are you reading my location? Good. Got artillery? Bring out the big guns. Batman says as he glides over Gotham City. Guys, this is really dope. It's been a while since I've seen Batman glide over Gotham like this. Batman first stops a few clowns from destroying multiple cars. He then swings in and does some quick work. Batman then shoots a grappling hook onto a stolen helicopter. The criminals inside try to stabilize, but eventually the helicopter goes swinging into a building and explodes. Batman glides down from the explosion to the bank of Gotham. 
boss. A lot of people got on Ben Affleck's Batman for killing, but come on, this right here, Batman literally just swung that helicopter into a building. Those criminals are for sure dead. There's no way they made out that explosion alive. I don't have a problem with it personally, like, Batman is just doing business, but I know people who say, oh, Michael Keaton's Batman doesn't kill. Nah, that's false. He kills in the movies and in this comic. It's just not emphasized as much as when Ben Affleck's Batman does it. Back to the story. Batman then stands up straight, and immediately other Joker criminals start shooting at him rapidly. Batman then throws a batarang at the big coin in front of the bank. The battering explodes, and Batman makes it through. On the other side, Batmobile pulls up fast, and Batman just gets in. We see an awesome image of Batman driving away as Joker criminals shoot at him. I gotta say, it is so awesome to see Michael Keaton's Batman back in action. At this moment, we switch to Harvey and Barbara out on a sidewalk. A clown runs by and steals Barbara's purse. Harvey runs after him, but then he gets cornered by two clowns in an alleyway. But guess what? Instead of getting scared, Harvey acts like a complete boss. He punches one of the clowns with his Rolex watch and he pulls out a gun on the other. Don't shoot me, Mr. Please, the clown says. Huh, isn't that funny? I just can't decide what to do. I think I'll toss a coin. Heads, you die. Tails, you walk. Harvey says as he flips the coin. Barbara nearby hears a few gunshots. She runs into the alley to see Harvey with a gun in his hands. Good news, though, he didn't kill the criminals. He just scared them off. Still, this is some serious foreshadowing for Two-Face probably coming later in the story. Barbara then hugs Harvey. She's happy that he's okay. By the way, this relationship is very interesting and new. I like it. We switch to Wayne Manor the next morning. Alfred wakes up Bruce. Bruce then goes to eat breakfast, and he finds Harvey Dent in the kitchen at the table. Bruce asks, what's up? Harvey then says he's found a way to fix Gotham. It's an idea that he needs Bruce's help to make succeed. I'm going up against Jim Gordon. Harvey states, Aren't you dating his daughter? Bruce asks. Actually, we're engaged. Harvey says, Congratulations, I think. What do you want from me? Bruce asks as he pours some coffee. With your backing, Bruce, we're going to take down the Batman. Harvey says, Harvey then talks about his experience on Halloween with Barbara, how her purse got taken away, and he almost got killed in Alley while Batman drove right past. Harvey then states a theory of his. He thinks there is multiple Batman. I think Batman is Jim Gordon's personal hit squad, well trained and well funded. Harvey says, ultimately, Harvey's visit at Wayne Manor ends. He leaves. He'll give Bruce some time to think about his proposition. Bruce wants to help, but he doesn't want to go against Jim or the Batman, which is himself. Bruce is in a very sticky situation, and I gotta say, I really like it. This conflict is really interesting. Moving forward, we see Harvey go to Burnside. He meets up with a man named Jerome, or Mr. Otis. Jerome takes Harvey into his car shop. Harvey starts talking about how he wants to inspire the kids in the city to be better. Jerome then tells Harvey that the kids haven't been seeing him. Harvey's not been around. He's been moving with a different crowd. What exactly are you trying to be? Jerome asks. You know, a big man. Harvey says as we get a flashback of Jerome with a younger version of Harvey. I'm gonna flip this coin, Harvey. Heads, you grew up to be a big man. Tells, you're nothing but a bum. Young Jerome says, Kid Harvey then calls Heads. And guess what? It lands on Heads. Ha! Huh, big man again! Let's do it again! Kid Harvey says. Guys, I really like this moment. It makes you really get attached to Harvey's character. 
After this, Harvey goes to Gotham City Hall. He makes a big speech about how Batman is bad, not good for Gotham. Ultimately though, Harvey asks the Gotham City Council for a vote of no confidence in Commissioner James Gordon. Harvey's father-in-law is the person he's after right alongside Batman. At Wayne Manor, Bruce watches Harvey's actions in the news. Alfred then tells Bruce to look outside. The bat signal is on, but it's not Commissioner Gordon who turned it on. Bruce suits up and heads to a building nearby the signal. It's Dents and Bullock and three snipers in the buildings nearby. Batman says on comms to Commissioner Gordon. Gordon then tells Batman that he needs to stay off the streets for a while. The National Guard has orders to bring you in, alive or otherwise. If I don't see you again, thanks, we tried. Gordon says, breaking the channel he uses to contact Batman. Now at this point, Batman is on his own. He goes out into Gotham and sees the National Guard looking for him. Batman then follows the supposed thief into apartments. Batman then walks in through a window, scaring the man. Turns out the man isn't an all-time thief. He just stole some diapers and baby food for his daughter. Batman then hears the person outside the window. Batman goes to look, and he's immediately kicked in the face by Marlon Wayne's Robin. Not your house, man. Next time, knock. Robin says, knocking Batman into the alley below. Robin then gives eight bucks to the man before leaving. Guys, I gotta say, Marlon Wayne's Robin costume is dope. I really like the hood and design of the costume. Moving on, we see Batman in the alley below. He looks up and guess who's there to shoot him? Yep, the National Guard. Batman is now cornered and about to be shot. And that is how we end this premiere issue. Guys, overall, this first issue is awesome. It gets you back into Tim Burton's Batman universe in a perfect way. There's great action, good character dynamics and a very interesting cliffhanger and a lot of potential for an amazing series plus the arts by Joe Quinones is phenomenal I'm gonna give this issue an 8.7 out of 10 I recommend it and yeah tell me your thoughts on this issue down below if you like the video give a big thumbs up new channel make sure to subscribe hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on my next Batman 89 video. And yeah, that's going to conclude this video. Thanks for watching, guys, and peace out.